If you bake half a quarter, a tenth as much as I do, you probably have copious cake scraps from previous objects hanging out in your fridge or your freezer. So I wanted to take a week off from doing big fancy cakes and do a delicious and almost equally as impressive dessert uh, from just things you probably have in your house already. We're going to be making some trifles, which in our case is a layer dessert consisting of my rose cake scraps, some vanilla pudding, some cherry pie filling, and a little bit of meringue on top to fancy it all up a bit. Now trifles are traditionally served in a big trifle bowl, but I actually like using wine glasses to make little personal trifles that are a bit easier to serve at parties or gatherings. Unfortunately, we only have four wine glasses, so we are going to improvise a little bit. Go ahead and crumble up your cake bits, and if your cake has gotten too stiff since you last used it, you can always pour in a little bit of milk or do a little bit of a cake soak on top. Personally, I find that a little bit superfluous since we're going to be pouring some pie filling on top of our cake anyway, and that's going to loosen it up a bit. We're just going to fill in the bottom of each glass container with a surface layer of cake. Next, I'm going to do my layer of cherry pie filling. Now this could also be jam or any other kind of pie filling you want, or you can even make your own fruit layer for this. Just keep in mind what flavors you're mixing with what flavors of cake you have. Next, we're going to do our little layer of instant pudding. If you want to be fancy about it, you can look up a recipe for pastry cream and use that instead. I simply have had a long week, so we're going to be making jello instant pudding. You can always just follow the instructions on the package. I'm making a couple small adjustments for it to come out better. Instead of using two cups of cold 2% milk, I'm going to be using two cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm also going to be adding an extra teaspoon or teaspoon and a half of nicer vanilla extract. As you might have expected, spoon it in. Next layer, cake again. Another layer of cherry to top that off. And we're going to leave just a small amount of space on top here. Now all I have to do left is the meringue layer on top to put it all together. But right before I do that, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I put my outfits together. The first step of putting together any outfit is going to be choosing your main piece that you're going to be coordinating everything else around. And usually that's something that I'll choose relatively arbitrarily, depending on what I'm doing that day, what the weather's like, etc. But today I also knew that I was going to be making a cherry and vanilla trifle, so I decided, you know, it'd be fun to match that. I'm going to play around with some dark reds and cream colors to kind of echo what I'm baking. So I pulled three dresses that would fit with that. The dim light metamorphose, this um, cell cat's phantom of the opera dress, and this Alice and the Pirates one. And obviously I ended up choosing this one largely because it has a lot of this layering effect going on in the pattern, which I thought thematically echoed the trifle really well. And also because these two are both very much heavier winter fabrics. And despite the fact that it is the February just ended time right now, um, otherwise known as March, it is so hot outside, so I'm going to be wearing something a little bit lighter and easier to move around in. One simple way to incorporate color balance into an outfit is just alternating patterns. As you can see, there's already a little bit of a pattern established in the dress itself here of my light ivory, my wine, my ivory, my wine, the ivory of my shirt. So it stands to reason that if I continue that pattern going up for my neck accessories and my hair, it'll look pretty good. Uh, let me show you first me not doing that. Here I have a gold neck accessory and a gold hair accessory. These are cute, this would work fine for an outfit, but there's no contrast to it, especially with my light hair. I have the wine ivory, wine ivory pattern, but then from the top of my chest up, it's ivory all the way. Compare that to, alternatively, just changing the hairband to add in a little bit of those darker wine colors that come from the dress adds a lot more intentionality to the outfit by reintroducing a bit of the pattern that was previously present. We also want to apply that concept of contrast and alternating color tones for color balancing to the lower half of the body. For example, compare how this looks to either this or this, and actually especially this, because I was lucky enough to happen to have a pair of socks where the accent colors on the socks themselves happen to match the accent colors present in the dress. So I can even get a little bit of bonus echoing there. 
By the way, if you like it when I talk about fashion on these videos, I'd actually really appreciate it if you would take a second to share this video with someone who you also think would like my outfits because that would be a huge help for me getting this channel going. And now that we've finished the layering of the outfit, we can go back and finish the little bit of layering that we have left to do on the trifles. So for the meringues, I'm going to take two egg whites and whip those up in a bowl until they get nice and frothy, then gradually add in a heaping tablespoon of sugar. Mix until the meringue is stiff enough that you can invert the bowl without anything dripping out. I'm loading it up into a piping bag so I can pipe it very prettily on the top of these. As a side note, most people use whipped cream to top these. I'm just doing meringue because I like it better. But if you're squeamish about eating raw egg whites or if you just prefer the taste of whipped cream, go ahead and do that. All right, we pipe them, boys. Plus another reason I like to use the meringue is it gives me a chance to use my little friend. All right, tis the hour. Very Let's good. Let's try to get as much of each bit as we can on here. It's gonna be a bit of a struggle. Oh yeah. <laughs> Large lip, spoon. The lip is closing in a little bit. Yeah, it's <laughs> off. Oh yeah, I, I screwed up. This can be good. It's all aesthetics. <laughs> At least I beat you on the tail end there. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of it clearly is your W, mm -hmm. but speaking of, this is excellent. Mm -hmm. That's there's really like, solid. Oh yeah, there's five wonderful things going on in there. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Mm. You got the cherry. You got the yogurt. The yogurt. Oh no. There's no yogurt. We're gonna cut, <laughs> we're gonna cut that bit. I can't look any dumber than I already, you know, portray. It's okay. Um, it's tasty. That's what matters. <laughs> you got the cherry. You got the vanilla. You got the cherry again. You got up on top, and you got fire. Mm -hmm. Those are your five.